Hello people of the world, I am Personified Fear and welcome to this little tutorial video where I'm going to teach you guys how to install visual novels. So I'm going to have a couple of things to say. First thing first, you're going to need WinWar, WinZip, or 7-Zip. All of them are exactly the same, so just grab one and go ahead and use it. WinZip is a program that I think you, that years ago, I don't know if it does it now, but years ago you had to buy the license after you did your 30 day trial, but one thing you could end up doing was keep reinstalling the freaking trial and they it wouldn't know, you could just keep going with that. Uh, WinWar you can install for free, you can keep it for free completely, but it will constant. but after you're done with the little trial thing it will constantly bug you to buy a license or whatever the hell they want you to do. Um, so yeah, and then you have 7-Zip which just shuts up and doesn't do anything after you installed it. So pick your poison, all of them are exactly the same, they do exactly the same thing, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. Uh, the next thing that you can do is either grab Daemon Tools or Power ISO. I kinda don't recommend Daemon Tools anymore, although I think it's easier to use. The problem is with it now, it has freeware on it, so you know, if you don't want little tiny viruses on your computer, don't grab that shit. Or you don't care, then go ahead and do what you will. I Power ISO is the more recommended one. It's kinda tougher, but not really. I don't really know. I just prefer Daemon Tools because it's just easier to use and all that stuff. Final thing I want to say is, um, if it's possible to buy a visual novel, just buy it. Because quite honestly, going through all this crap is a pain in the dick. You don't really want to do it. So, if it's at all possible to buy, to buy the visual novel you are looking for, go ahead and buy it. Um, the places where you can buy them are Manga Gamer, Jast USA, uh, JList, um, you can look all these up. JList, I think, actually does send you a physical copy of the game, and it comes straight from Japan, so that's going to be, I think, the most expensive option. So, there's that. And finally, there's Steam, which is starting to get a bunch of visual novels now, so uh, any one of those four will work out. Pick your poison with any of them. J List, I think, is the most expensive, and then you have Visual no and then you have Manga Gamer, uh, Jast, and Steam. That all, I think, for the most part, would end up having for them roughly the same prices for all the visual novels that they feature. Uh, almost all, at least. But yeah, that's basically it. That's all I have to say early on. Two things you're gonna need, you know, just in general, and the final thing is just food for thought. If you can buy it, I recommend buying it because you don't have to go through this bullshit. Either way, ladies and gents, today I'm going to be installing Bunny Black because someone was having trouble with it. Uh, I believe his name was, or she, not entirely sure which. I'm going to go with he because that's just a normal, that, that's just, I guess, I don't know what it is when it comes down to pronouns or whatever, but a lot of people instantly go with he, I think. But either way, um, I think the name was Brandon Wu. I think that was it. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. If it was, uh, he needed help. I unfortunately wasn't able to uh, helping him through, you know, regular messaging. So, making this video, I was gonna do it anyway. But hey, it comes a lot sooner because, well, we can just uh, help him with Bunny Black and just in general teach you guys what to do when it comes down to installing original novels. So, first thing you're gonna want to do is change your locale to Japanese. That comes number one. Uh, if you are running Windows 7 or Vista, what you do is press Start, so you go to your control panel. If you are running Windows 8, what you do is open up the little document folder thing, then you go and make sure you're on my PC, and then you go to the upper corner where it says computer, you open up your control panel, and then afterwards, we all do the same thing, you know, Windows 8, 7, Vista, whatever the hell you're using. Uh, you go, after you're under control panel, you're gonna go to clock language and look region. Go to region, change the location, go to the administrative tab, and then change the system locale to Japanese. Afterwards, when it's changed, uh, your system will reset itself. When it's reset, everything will be perfectly fine. Nothing really changes. All your games will work the exact same. The only difference is there will be like, a random Japanese character if you press like one of the dash buttons or when you right click and you see your Intel shit it will be in Japanese that's basically it nothing really changes for the computer itself this is just to help uh, make the games think you're playing on a Japanese computer that's really it either way when you're finished with that you're gonna need to go to a place where you can download them personally I go to airgaydownload.com this is where I get most of the original novels that I play 
and yeah what you're gonna do is download all the single parts from this one right here uh, if you're playing a bigger game let's say you're getting school days that game is like 9 gigs that's like 9.8 gigs right there and you're gonna end up downloading like 50 parts dude so you know yeah you're gonna have to download each individual part uh, there's also this right here what it does is basically allow you to download the entire thing in one go however you're gonna need to pay for it I don't know how much it is so that's on you if you want that next thing you have to do when that is finished you're gonna make sure that you wanna get the patch the English patch specifically and also grab this one I don't and also grab whatever the extra patch is this is for civil chaos I don't know exactly what this does but it enhances the game in some it's probably like an extra add-on within the game itself so grab that if you wanna go ahead and do that uh, I generally recommend it cuz it could probably fix any potential problems that the base game had but hey so after everything has been you know downloaded everything's fine now you're gonna open up one of the parts that you downloaded on WinWar, WinZip, or whatever the hell you're using, and then you're gonna extract it. In terms of compressing, you can either compress before or after you extract the file. It doesn't really matter, personally. At least I don't think it matters. Uh, you don't even need to compress it if you do, you don't even need to compress it if you don't want to. Personally, when it comes down to compressing things, I usually do it after I've extracted the file because the WinWar you know, thing itself, I complete, I get rid of after I, I've extracted it, and or at least I know that everything is, you know, working fine and whatnot. But yeah, compress the file afterwards or before, whatever you want to do, doesn't really seem to matter. And then, uh, in the terms of Bunny Black, when it's finally done being extracted, you're gonna get this. This is the folder that you extracted from Bunny Black, and next this is where Power ISO or even Daemon Tools comes in you are going to want to activate it so that way power iso or daemon tool pops up and then you're going to mount it when it has been mounted you're going to go ahead and start going through the installation process now there are actually two ways of installing bunny black the first way is to go to the natural installation process which i will be showing off right now so we're going to go to this right here and then we're going to go ahead and run it so that way we can actually start installing and now, this is how you're going to be installing Bunny Black, the normal way. The second way of installing Bunny Black is if you were to open the actual file that has been mounted, the Bunny Black, you know, ROM thing, if you actually open it, you will see that there is this right here. This is the actual game itself. All the files that you're going to be installing to your computer when you're going through the natural installation process is all right here. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. All of that stuff is right here. You can just extract this from here and put it onto your desktop and everything will be fine either way. That's a quicker and easier way to do it. And I'm pretty sure this, and uh, from what I've seen, because I didn't even know this was here actually, because most uh, of the visual novels that you might get that will have you do, you know, a CD uh, installation or whatever, probably don't have this here, at least I'm the ones I uh, ended up doing a CD installation for didn't have one, so I don't know, lucked out here. So yeah, this is the actual game, all you need to do is extract that and you can start playing instantly, but uh, if you're just going through the normal installation process, what you do is click on this big top button right there, uh, I'm pretty sure the 2100 one should work, if it doesn't, you're gonna do that, it'll create, if it doesn't work, just go to the bottom one that says 1500 but it will start installing right now see so when it's done installing and all that stuff next you're gonna start adding the patch I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what to do when it comes down to patching the game um, when it's done installing you can go to wherever the installation folder is however if you just extract it and put it on your desktop what you're gonna do is take the uh, patch that you downloaded earlier and you're just gonna go ahead and put the patch in here Wherever you installed it, if you did the natural installation, you go ahead and put the patch there. If you put the, if you just take the, the folder out from the CD thing, the CD file that you, you know, mounted, then you just go ahead and put the patch right there, and everything will be fine. Are you still installing? Yeah, you are. You're gonna take a while. Yeah, that's not gonna finish anytime soon. I'm probably just gonna end up uninstalling that anyway. So we're gonna move you down there and pretend like you don't exist. But either who. Uh, yeah, that's gonna go ahead and extract on there, and when it's done, you're gonna go ahead and activate it. So when it finishes, 
when it finishes. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, well, things are bad things are bound to happen. More random things are bound to happen. Come on now. Don't be dumb. Come on. Go ahead and do it. You can do it. Come on. I believe in you. <sighs> How are you doing, <laughs> installation? Oh, you're, you're going slowly. Oh, you're at 30%. That's nice. Well, as long as you're doing stuff. Really? This is just... You're really going to act up right now? Wow. Well, whatever. When it's done, extra. Hey! I was making fun of you and decided to start working. I think you started working. I don't know what's happening right now. Great. This, this, yeah, this would happen. Oh, now the dog's in here. What do you want? Okay. Shut up, tablet. What? You're on the floor. What are you doing in here, dog? Alright, well, he's just looking around. But either way, when it's done extracting after it take eighty after it takes eighty years of doing it. Oh, he just walks away now. Okay. So uh, when it's done extracting, what you do is go ahead and just double click to, to start it up. And then it afterwards it'll say, Hey, uh, do you wanna run the patch? You say yes, you go through the process, it'll do all the work for you. And then after it's done uh, for Bunny Black, what you're gonna end up doing next is adding this stuff. You just take all this and then replace the files that are in there. If you add whatever you in ooh. whatever you installed it, just put those files in there. And if you extracted it on your desktop, then you just do that. It's that simple, ladies and gents. And afterwards, when it's done, it's done and it should start working. Um, for Bunny Black, you might also need to run it in administrator so that way you can actually save. Um, but other than that, everything else should be fine. Uh, I also did have a minor problem at one point when I did install it. For whatever reason, the game kind of didn't work. Um, when that happened, I ended up trying to run it in compatibility mode. It, for whatever, I looked it up and see, you know, what people were saying about it, and somebody said to run the game in compa compatibility. Hey, there's the patch thing. It said to run the game in compatibility mode because it worked for them. I did it, and I ran it for like Windows 7 or Windows 8, one of the two. It should work, um, and it did. So yeah, that's all there really is to it. Let's go ahead and start the patch. But yeah, ladies and gents, uh, that's how you install a visual novel. Generally, that's all the steps there really is. You download, you extract, you mount if needed to mount, then you install, and then you add the patch. It's, that's all there is to it uh, with all that shit. And for a game like um, Sona Hanabira, if you're grabbing something like that, this is how you're going to end up doing most of them. The um, disc installation thing doesn't happen very often, at least in my experience, it doesn't happen all the time, but every now and again it does happen. But for the most part, whatever you get on area download, what you're going to end up doing is just downloading it, and then when it's finished, you're going to take the file that you've downloaded and then just distract it right there on your desktop, and it'll start working instantly. That's usually what ends up happening. But uh, for cases like this, and also if you need to add a patch, you can add it, but yeah, uh, for cases like this, it's just a matter of doing all this crap. Um, once again, if possible to buy, just buy it. It's easier and you don't have to go through such a big hassle. Okay, yeah, I don't know what it was asking. I think it's probably asking if I want to play the game and it probably is just going to start up the game. Oh, nope, okay. So, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Hopefully this video helps. If it does, then I... You're welcome, or thank you. I, I don't really know what to say there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I can go ahead and show off when the game is in itself starts working. So, uh, when the patch is finished, I will go ahead and uh, see you guys in a bit. Alrighty then, so the patch finished, and then I replaced all the files with the quick fix thing. And now we're going to go ahead and run it. I also have it running in administrator mode. Uh, if you want to know how to do that, then you just right click uh, to have it all. Oh, wait, I'll show you afterwards. But yeah, let's see if the game's working. This is the one that I extracted from the uh, CD file. So let's see if it starts working. It is! It's just lagging a lot. Alright, so yeah, this works. 
And now we just need to see if the other one works, the one that I actually installed. So we're gonna get you out of here, you lagging piece of poop. But yeah, that one's working. Um, to have it permanently in administrator mode, if you need to know how to do it, you go to properties and then you go to compatibility and then you click on run this program as administrator. Apply and then you're done. Uh, so yeah, the one that you can just extract uh, from your you know, CD file, it seems to be working. Let's see if the one I installed doing the normal way is working. So what we do is do this, and here it is. So let's go ahead and add the patch. I should have did this earlier. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the patch in. And then, uh, we're just gonna see if it starts working. It should be working normally. So I'm gonna go ahead and check and see if it is working normally. And then, uh, we're gonna add the patch. Then we're going to add the other file in that needs to be added, and we'll see if it starts working. So, while this is being dumb, I will see you guys in a little bit to see how everything's working. Alrighty then, so I'm back, everything is finished again. So this is the one that I installed using the normal, doing the normal way. Let's go ahead and see if it's working. Double click on it, I have it running in administrator mode. Let's see if it's working. Ah. Shut up, dog. And it's working. All right then. So, ladies and gents, that's how you install a visual novel. That's how you do all the steps that need to be done. Hopefully, this video was helpful. If it was, then you know, leave a like. If it wasn't helpful at all, and I'm a dirty liar, and I didn't help you, and I suck, then go ahead and leave a dislike. It happens. Uh, but yeah, this is the general way, this is the general process that you're going to end up needing to take. Um, and once again, if you get a game like Sonahana Beer or something like that, or you grab something like, I, I don't know, I think Princess Waltz probably doesn't have you go, I know it does have you. I don't know which, I don't remember which games will have you go through the, you know, CD installation, but uh, whatever games that don't have you go through a CD installation, whatever games that don't have you go through a CD installation, all you need to do is just extract the file from Renoir, put it on your desktop, and it'll start working instantly. If there's a patch that needs to be added, just put the patch in there, and it'll start working. At least it should start working. If there's an instance for any visual novel that you download you know, that uh, doesn't allow you to save, or you can't save, you know, you can't load, or whatever the hell, uh, run the game as administrator, it usually works. And any other problems that could possibly pick up are probably can generally vary by game. If it's asking you to download some, you know, if it says that it's not working because you don't have some .dll file or something like that, you can just find that and install it on there or add it in there that needs to, in the place that needs to be added. Um, um, in other cases, that could probably happen, like just a random black box or some other shit. That could be a game. That could be a problem. That's for that specific game. I don't really know. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. I hope this video helped. If it did, then kudos. And for Brandon Wu, if this helped you at all with your installation, or there was something you did wrong, or you you don't know what you did wrong, you did everything right, and for whatever reason, your computer's being an asshole to you, then, well, I, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Either way, ladies and gents, this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah, I will see you guys later.